Hey guys, Proper English here, and today we're going to take a look at a fast pistonless XOR gate. So this thing's pretty cool. It's five tall, five long, and two wide. It's two ticks. So this thing is both small and fast. And as far as I know, this is the smallest two wide XOR gate. I haven't seen any that are smaller than this. And so before we get into this design over here, let's take a look at how a two tick XOR gate works. All right, so I set up one more demonstration over here. This is a does not imply gate. So we haven't talked about this one before, but it's very useful. This is a gate where the output is on when only this input is on, okay? So if this input over here alone is on, turns this torch off, lets this one come on, output's on. But now if we turn this one on, the output's off because we're powering this torch from over here. And so, it's the same case over here. So in this case, the output torch is getting powered both from here and from here. And so when they're both off, the output is going to be off because, well, we're still getting power from over here. So this is does not imply. And so what we can do is we can actually take two of these and hook them up together so that we get an XOR gate. So let's take a look at how that works. Now, if I turn one of these on, well, our output comes on. All right, we can do the same thing with the other one over here. Just this one on, the output's on. That is because we are powering this torch over here, or in the case of this input, this torch over here, and one of these can come on depending on which input we have on. And no, looks like we've got a visitor, and uh, well, I guess I'll just keep recording. He can hang out for a minute. And so when I turn both of these on, what happens is the output turns off because what's going on is now, well, we're powering this output torch over here, okay? And we're having that happen in both cases for both inputs. So this input over here powers this one, turns it off. This input over here powers this one and turns it off. So this is an XOR gate, all right? And so what we can do is we can take this and we can compact it into a two wide form and that is what we've got over here. All right, so now that we've seen how a two tick XOR gate works, let's take a look at the compacted version. And so there are a few things that I've done over here to keep this thing super compact. And you can see on this side, I'm using some transparent blocks. So that's the glowstone and this half slab over here. And so the glowstone is useful over here because it's allowing me to have wire up here and not power it with this torch, because that would be a mess. It wouldn't work if we were getting power from this torch coming up here. And this could also be a half slab. I just like using glowstone when I can, because I like glowstone. And then over here, this one actually has to be a half slab because we've got a repeater on it, and that allows us to send this wire beneath and over to this torch, and that's beautiful. I'm also making use of a repeater over here as a diode, okay? so. This is um, another little thing to keep in mind as a little trick you can use. So over here, well, I want this torch to power this torch, but it would be a problem if this torch was sending power back this way and turning this guy off, right? That's another thing that we don't want to happen. So I can use a diode, and that's what this repeater is, so that the signal only comes in one direction. And so now that we've taken a little look at some of the stuff that's going on in this, uh, in this gate, let's see how the logic works. And so I'll start by turning this input on. And so what you can see over here is now because this input's on, well, this torch turns off. And so our torch over here can turn on and we get our output on. Now, if I come back over here and I turn this guy off and this guy on, well, now what's happening is we're powering this torch over here, okay? And because this one's off, well, this torch can come on and we get our output on. But now when we turn both of our inputs on, we've got another situation, okay? So now we're sending power in here and holding this torch off. And we're also going to be sending power down through here, okay? So this repeater powers this block, comes down here, and it holds this torch off, okay? And so that is how the gate works. And we can also take a look at one more thing because I told you this is 
too wide stackable. And I've done something over here that's really useful for making too wide stackable designs. So when you see a torch over here on the side of a block, that's something that is great when you're trying to do something that's too wide stackable because think about it like this. If I put a torch over here and let's say I've got an output coming through here. Well, when I make this too wide and I try to stack it up, I get another torch over here. And so now, even though this guy's off, it can still get power over from this torch. And so that's something that we can't do. We don't want that. And so one solution is to put the torch on the side of a block. And that's something you'll see very frequently in two wide stackable builds. And we can take a look over here. This is an array of XOR gates all stacked up. And so I can turn one of these guys on, the output's on. We can do the same thing with the other one, the output's on. And now when they're both on, the output's off. So there you go. Two tick, two wide stackable XOR gate, super compact. I think this thing is very useful. I just used it in a new build and I'll show you that soon. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.